Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to take a look at functions, conditionals, and events. So a function can carry out a specific task, perform a computation, and or return a value. Like variables, functions can prevent repeating large chunks of code. And functions can trigger code in your game when something happens. Now conditionals are control structures that are used to make decisions in code. Conditionals control the path of code based on a Boolean value. A Boolean expression tests if the conditional statement is true or false. And in Lua, we have an if statement followed by a Boolean condition, which is then followed by a then end chunk. Now, the chunk is only executed when the Boolean condition evaluates to true. So for example, using conditional, we could have something like if humanoid, then, and then we would print only human, followed by the keyword end. Now events in Roblox. So collisions occur when virtual shapes intersect e with each other in the game world. And in the script that we're about to write, we're going to detect collisions between parts. So let's go ahead and go into our Roblox Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and add a script here. So we just went ahead and added a script here. And I'm going to rename this again to first part as it was before. And inside of our script, I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now. Because we're going to add some code for detecting if there are collisions. So do note here, we're going to be using the keyword local. The code's going to use local variables. And to distinguish between the two, unlike global variables, local variables have their scope limited the block where they are declared. In addition, a block is the body of a control structure, the body of a function, or a chunk. That's what we mean by body. So it's kind of like a block of code. In other words, local only lives within that block of code. Okay, so let's take a look here at our script. So first we're going to create this variable, this local variable called part. And so we've got local part equals script dot parent and in other words that line of code is just creating this variable called part just think of it as kind of like shorthand for script dot parent which is the script that's attached to the part that we just created okay now we're going to say local function on part touched and we'll say other part all right, so in other words, we're creating this function called onPartTouched, and we're passing in this object called OtherPart. And now we're going to say print part.name has touched. And we'll say OtherPart.name. So in other words, what's going to happen here is that we're going to get these messages of the two parts that are touching each other when the collision is detected. And the last but not least, we have to connect the two together. So we're going to say part.touched connect. And now we're going to say on part touched. All right, so let's give this code a try here. And if all goes well, Take a look here. I'm going to walk around here. And notice here at the bottom that I'm getting all sorts of different output here. So depending on which part of the humanoid, that's me over the, by the way, is touching the part, you'll notice we've, we've got down here the left lower leg, the right foot, left foot. So in other words, the part is detecting what part of the humanoid is colliding with the part. All right, so let's like stop that script right now. 
And let's try a slightly different version. So let's try when the player touches the part. Let's check and make sure that it's a humanoid object. Okay, so let's like add some code here to our script because we only want it to be detected if the part that's touching it is another humanoid. So I'm going to add some comment here. So get the other parts parent. Let me create some space there. And we'll say local part parent equal other part dot parent. Okay, so in other words, that's where the other part's coming from. And then we'll say look for humanoid in that part. And so now we'll say local humanoid equal part parent. And we'll say here, find first child, which is a humanoid. All right, so again, let's just add our code here again, if humanoid, then. So just kind of added that code in here, we'll say end, and we need another end there. Okay, so let's try this out first. So again, this code should work the same as it did before. Again, if our human is touching and it is, we get all this output down here about what part of the body is touching the part. All right, now that we know that that worked, let's go ahead and comment that code out. Leave it there. And let's try again something a little bit different. We're now going to set the humanoid's health to zero. So now if the humanoid touches the part, something bad may happen to them. All right, so let's see what happens here. I'm getting closer and closer. I haven't touched it just yet. Now I'm going to touch it and notice that our character kind of explodes here. So again, once it touches that part, our health got set to zero. All right, so this is actually very commonly called a kill block. So it's like you touch that block and it sets your health to zero. All right, let's try one other variation here. So let's create another part just so that we have a different part to test out here. And this one, again, I'm going to change it slightly. Again, I made it a four by four, putting it right over here. I'm going to change its color. Okay, so we change this to like a kind of an orange kind of colorish. And again, default name is part. And I'm going to rename this part here. And we'll call it change color part. And I'm going to add a script here. So plus, I'll say script. And again, we're going to use very similar code, but it's going to be a little bit different. So to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to actually going to copy and paste it like that. And again, here, the difference is I'm now going to say I'm now going to change the part's color if the humanoid touches it it's going to turn dark blue if all goes well all right so let's test this out here so again when we touch that orange block not not the red block 
It should change colors. And ta-da, it changes colors. Which is very cool. All right, so I hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next video.